Right, welcome back guys. Gym is all done for today. Woke up at six, hit the gym by seven. Car wash is opening at eight. So I'm just about to drop the mini to the car wash, get it washed. I'm gonna buy a polishing pad because the ones I've got there are in a poor state. So I need to buy new ones. Uh, so there's a half us there. Uh, and yeah, I'll be getting a, a polishing pad. And what else do I need? Because I always forget things. So hopefully I'll, rem I'll remember on the way. Honestly, I love waking up in the morning and getting things done. So I'm thinking, why am I not doing this more often? So I was trying to get the Meguiar's pads, but uh, they don't keep them in store. You have to order online. So I don't see what's the point buying from Harford's when you get them for maybe a better price from from Amazon. By the way, I've got a link in the description, guys, for, for that product. I love those pads. Um, makes the job a lot, a lot easier and quicker. So now I'm hoping that this one would be any good uh, hard compounding pad red. So fingers crossed I can get the job done with this today because I don't want to be wasting any time waiting for the pads to arrive or to clean my old ones because they are honestly, they are a mess. I was going to carry on with my video, but now I guess uh, have to wait. I hope you can hear me. Um, just had the car washed. Now it's very painful when I take the car to a hand car wash because I know how they treat the car and every time I go there I get a few extra new scratches but I'm gonna machine polish this anyway so that doesn't really matter. So my plan for now is actually it looks quite nice already. I really love this blue color. Um, so my plan is I'm gonna start with the bonnet um, but first I'm gonna use a clay bar well a mitt because I've got one of those like gloves style and then I'm gonna use the wash and wax as a lube for that um, and then I'm just gonna go with the polisher around so I'm gonna start with the bonnet I always start with the bonnet for some reason and then I'm gonna do the headlights um, after I'm done with that I'm gonna either put some wax on i'll probably use the fuso 99 because that lasts very long and gives the car a nice deep color um and it lasts for 12 months so the water beading is incredible on that the shine is incredible i just love that product but the only problem is it takes a bit of time to apply it so i might just use the Meguiar's um, ceramic coating uh, which is just a spray and by the way, I've got the link down in the description for all these products. Um, and yeah, the car should be done another, I would say, two hours, three hours max. And then hopefully we'll be up for sale by, by this evening. For the chromes, I'm just going to use the wash and wax. It does a good job with the chromes. So I don't have to use anything fancy like a chrome paste or anything like that. And yeah, let's crack on. Right. I've just realized I've done this bit without pressing the record button. Silly me. So I'm just going to do it again. So basically, I'm just going to spray some motion wax. This is some cheap stuff I use just for, for this job. And then I'm going to spray some on this. And then straight lines. Just go around every panel. What this does is collecting all the contaminates from the from the paint the things you can't remove when you wash the car and to show you difference quickly because now the sun is up and it's gonna dry quick So this is gonna make the surface a lot easier to polish. As compared to this side, if you hear that, no. you can hear the contaminants in the in the paint. And on this side, smooth. So I'm just going to go around the whole car with this and it shouldn't take me longer than 
10 minutes maybe. Also, I'm going to be adding the link for this product uh, in the description and in the comment section. Now, with that done, I'm just going to grab the polisher, add some compound. You can also find this in the, in the description. Try a few dots. Usually, don't need too much of this. You need a little bit to saturate the the pad. I normally just spread it with uh, with my hands using some gloves, but I haven't got any gloves left, so I'm just gonna go with it. Also, I need to be very careful not to touch the the plastic bit because it's gonna be a pain to clean that. So I'm just starting with the bonnet now. Spreading it a bit. Voila, looks nice and shiny. Obviously when I'm done with this, I'm just gonna wipe it with some um, alcohol and then I'm gonna apply the wax. I still haven't decided yet which one I'm gonna use. But as you can see, that side, compared to this side. It's difficult to see it in the sun. But it looks a lot better. Still won't be able to do this bit because it's vinyl so i prefer not to touch it because i've never had to deal with this so i'm just gonna leave it as it is Let's just compare these two quickly. So it's that one. Obviously, I'm not going to do this space because there's no point. It's a bit dust there. It's going to look better after I wipe it off. So let's have a look at that compared to that one. 
so yeah i think this makes a difference i'm doing this pretty much on all my cars by the way the engine bay has been done already and it looks nice it wasn't too dirty just had a quick wipe put some dressing on and voila job done One thing I forgot to do is that is to clay the roof and to machine polish it. Also, I'm going to do this bit as well. It's going to make a massive difference. Get rid of all these scratches. Right, now I'm just going to go around the car and wipe it with some IPA. And look at that, the car only looks so much better. So the reason I'm wiping the car with alcohol is the... Uh, the compound I'm using, it's oil base and leaves some oil behind. So this is going to remove all that. But you also have to be careful not to scratch it. So I'm going to use a soft cloth and just wipe it gently. And then I'm going to apply the wax. And in this way, it's going to bond a lot better. Look at that shine. Nice. The paint is so smooth now, this literally just slides away. I love that feeling, honestly. Now for the tires, I'm going to use some um, multiple plus, uh, mud. Now for the tires, I'm going to use some multi-purpose cleaner. Uh, you can find this in the description below. Uh, about two liter of that is going to last you very, very long time. I bought mines about probably nearly two years ago, a year and a half, and I still got plenty left. Just spread that on the tire. Look at that, they look so nice, so much better. And I've just realized I've run out of tire dressing, but I'm gonna use the same thing I'm gonna be using on the um, on the plastic trim. Now, just done the tires. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna apply the, the ceramic detailer, wax slash whatever it's called. This is supposed to last, I think, they're saying for six weeks. Uh, sorry, six months or something like that. Um, anyway, the reason I'm doing this and I'm putting wax and this sort of stuff on all my cars is it, 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 it helps me a lot to maintain the car. For example, when I get a viewing, instead of washing the car, taking to a car wash and all that, I'm just going to use some uh, washing wax and the car is ready in 10 minutes. So this saves me a lot of time. It also got that nice water beading effect. I mean, to be fair, I don't mind spending a little bit more money on some good products. Um, I, I, it's just something I like. I love adding this kind of stuff on my cars and then just watch it when, when it rains. So the way you apply this is quite easy. Just a few sprays per panel like that. Then I'm grabbing a clean cloth 
and then just spread it around because I would have used the the Fu uh, Fuso 99 but um, it's just taking too long to apply and there you have it it's got a nice uh, gloss finish right a nice gloss finish and like I said it lasts for about six months not sure if you can see the difference between this panel and that panel but in real life you, you can tell that it's a bit more shiny and also make it very very smooth so thumbs up for this product now this is my first time doing this because I've seen this on TikTok and on other YouTube channels um, as you can see it already starts to come back on this side and because the sun is coming from that direction um, so yeah let, let's see let's see how it goes but this is a good sign It looks like it's working so you can see some fumes but I've read that it's normal obviously I'm not keeping it too much in one place so it doesn't burn but let's try that section as well see the difference that's what it looked like earlier and that's now because it's on this side of the Sun so as soon as I'm done with this I'm just gonna apply a protection and hopefully that will last a while but Let's see how it works on this section. So yeah, it works like magic. That's very satisfying to be fair. And after I apply the dressing, it's gonna look a lot, a lot better. This is honestly very satisfying. I really enjoy this. And that's a transformation using some uh, bumper gel. So remember I've done this bit and this one plus bumper gel. So I'm loving it. Loving it. Really happy with that. That looks brand new. Now I think I found a solution for this as well. It was looking like this. So I've just applied some bumper gel 
and it looks a lot better. So let's see if it stays like that when it gets dry. I hope it does because it looks really good. I'm gonna put some here as well. Voila. Gonna do the top as well. That looks well nice. So apparently this thing works, but I don't know for how long. We shall see. I hope it restores it and doesn't just cover it in grease and make it look better. Something interesting on the glass. Two hands from the inside. One like that and one right next to it. Look. I think I know what happened there. So this car is probably good for dogging as well. I don't think I can fit on the back seat, but someone managed. It's definitely, mate, it's definitely what I think. Look at the, the fingers, look. <laughs> oh God, it's like I'm a 10 year old. And there we have it, guys. The car looks absolutely fantastic for the age. Uh, I polished out really nice. I don't know how many hours I've been on this, probably about four hours altogether, something like that. But I didn't rush, I enjoyed the, the weather um, and yeah, it's all done. What I'm going to do next probably is I'm going to get a head start on that one, do the interior. But first I'm going to eat something because I didn't eat anything all day. I'm doing that intermittent fasting. Right, let's have a quick look at the car. Look at these plastic trims. They look fantastic. Now, I applied some of that on this as well. It's been over two hours, I think over an hour, and it still looks nice. So let's see, maybe that restored the, the faded vinyl. I hope it did, but look at that. Honestly, I'm very happy with this car. The way it looks and the fact that it only needs a service, it's fantastic. Look at that. Now I know what the white, white stains were on the back seat, <laughs> but that's a different story. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that rear bumper. I'm gonna quickly show inside as well. There it is. I've got some new floor mats. They've been delivered already. So I'm just gonna put those new floor mats in but I'm gonna hoover the car first. I'm gonna do that only before the first viewing because I'm still gonna drive this to the garage and back. But look at that. Interior is all nice and shiny, all dressed with, uh, with the dressing I've got in the description. It is more expensive guys, but trust me, that is worth every penny. That is giving the, my car the wow element. Um, I bought a bottle two years ago, or a year, I can't remember, but let's say two years ago, nearly two years ago, and I still got plenty of it. Now I've been using the brain that detailing, detailing as well, uh, but Jason is taking a break from that as well. Um, so when he gets his things back in stock, I'm gonna start using those. Well, some of them, not all of them. Um, and yeah, with my products, the reviews I'm doing and all that, are my absolutely honest reviews uh, I wouldn't be using those products if they were not good as you can see I like to take pride in my work um, and I, I I like to buy even if it's a bit more expensive but get some quality um, products and make my car stand out I'm just gonna show you the shine again because I'm very proud of that look at that you can see my reflection in there you can see my mess but I'm just about to tidy everything up and uh, and that's it. 
that's it for now so guys if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and also watch the video all the way through because it's helping youtube's algorithm um, if you're skipping the video they'll probably think uh it's not very interesting and uh, they're not going to recommend that help me get that 10k subscribers and i will be making a lot more videos about how i prep my cars and everything about the car trade so i just got the customers coming to collect the car they viewed it a few days ago they said they need some time to decide and now they said they're gonna come and take it now look at the state of the car after like cleaned everything because i went out with this car and the exterior is pretty bad as well so now i've got one hour to get all that clean because i had to change a tire it had a puncture and uh yeah hopefully i'll get it cleaned again before they get here now for the car delivery plus fees i paid 1298 pounds uh, for the service floor mats and the tire i paid 187 pounds uh, the advertising costed me 59 pounds uh, auto trader and facebook combined and i sold the car for 2000 pounds which gave me a profit of around 450 pounds that's not too bad